Hello everybody, welcome back to another tech tip here at 45 Drives and today we're doing a little bit of an extension or a video that fits in the series of another video that Doug and I shot recently where we were almost introing that we're going to talk about the performance and all the great things that you can do with all the products we have. Our spinning boxes, our, our hybrid ones, our all NVMe, all flash machines and but not only that, all the compute and everything on that. Because the point is, we do a lot here at 45 Drives. And we want to make sure that you guys are aware of all the things that are possible. So, in this video, we're using an F-16. So what's the F-16? We've talked about it before, but for those who don't know, the F-16 is our 2U height uh, rack storage server, 16 bays that can accommodate NVMe, SATA, or SAS drives using UBM technology. And uh, it's an awesomely fast machine, well-engineered, love it. Anyway, I've said enough. If you want to learn more about the product itself, go check out that other video we have about it. But what we're doing today is I was using an F-16 to do some stuff. What kind of stuff? Well, we're working on a little bit of an AI product. Um, who isn't, um, I know, but uh, anyway, there's more coming on that. We'll tell you as it comes, but a little side project shot out of that. As we were, me and a couple other of my colleagues here were learning how to run LLMs, how to do everything, what, what's, what's possible in the world. So uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. During our adventures of investigating and building this project I was just talking about, we just really learned how easy it is to spin up large language models, ask it questions. It's like really easy, like easier than I thought it was going to be. And um, when you get a server like the F-16 with a bunch of compute in it, and maybe your VMs are only using half the cores all the time, maybe even less, why not run a model behind the scenes and ask it some questions? So like I said, it's really easy. You'll be surprised. We're going to do it in the next two, three minutes here. I probably underestimated that, but eh, let's have some fun. Let's jump over to the screen and we're going to start from scratch, get open web UI up where we can prompt it like you would almost think ChatGBT, and uh, download a couple different models. You can do this on an F-16, you can do it on your computer at home, but why don't you join me and uh, I'll take you through it. All right, so here we are on our F-16. We're sitting at the uh, Proxmox UI right now, but let's get into the good stuff. So let's, let's get this running. So what we're going to do is we're gonna run a single container here that's going to give us a um, chat prompt that pretty much kind of looks like ChatGPT, you'll see, and um, uh, download a, a model to it and we'll ask it a question. I'll we'll just show you how easy that is. So uh, let's get started here. I've got a terminal open already and um, uh, actually I wanted that because I don't want to type the whole thing out again. Um, okay, we'll just take you through this command real quick. Again, we're just setting this up for fun right now um, in, in real production scenarios, if you were doing this, we'd make a system D file, had to say it, but this is for demo video purposes only, so we're going fast. Um, so we're gonna expose this um, web service that we go to on the URL through port 3000, that's what we're doing there. Um, I have an NVMe storage array in the back end, it's mounted here at mount storage, and we just have to give two paths to this container. Uh, location for the open web UI, the actual uh, UI we're going to be using. It needs a place to live and then all the models that it downloads, it needs a place to live. So that's the Olama data and that's the open web UI data. And then just the name of it and the container. So I hit that and it's not going to work because I already have a container called that. So we're going to start a new one. Perfect. So that's running. I'll give that a sec. Podman logs. Okay, looks like it's ready to go. So 192, 168, 47. Port 3000 is what we exposed it at. And here we go. So this is what you look at when you log in the first time. We can explore the cosmos wherever we are. We can unlock the mysteries too. No, anyway, back to it, right? So we'll just get started and you have to make the first account on it. So I'll put my name in there. I don't have to worry about well, there, now you know my uh, work email. Okay, and then we're in. We've got a user account. Uh, but there's nothing to do right now, because I don't have any models, right? So we've got to download a model. So, how do we do that? 
there's a million different ways to skin the cat in this world. But the way we're gonna go is we're gonna use uh, the library of models that Olama hosts. So um, that's where we're at right now. And if you look, let's let's run DeepSeek. What's DeepSeek? It's the um, uh, pretty powerful model that's uh, free, open source, and anyone can use. So let's do that. You've got all these different sizes. The sizes are determined by the, I believe like the number of parameters they're using. So like the bigger the model, the more accurate it is. But of course it's a bigger model and it has to load into the memory of whatever's doing that compute. So long story short, where I have a system here that does not have a GPU, it's just CPU and it's just RAM. Whatever size of the model you choose, it needs to completely be able to be loaded into your RAM. So if you're at home doing this and you've got like 32 gigs of memory, you can't do anything higher than the 20 gigabyte model. And even then might be pushing a little bit because you still need to leave room for your, the rest of your system. But in my case here, I have a one and a half terabytes of RAM in this thing, so we can run a massive model if we need to. But for illustration purposes, because we don't want to watch that download for the next 20 minutes uh, or longer, um, we'll just get one of the small models. But the, um, the concept of what we're doing is no matter which one you choose, you just pull that version of it. So I just hit the copy button there and Podman, yes, Podman. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm launching into my container so I can tell it to pull this model down. And we're gonna go llama pull, nope, I stole that. There we go, copy again. So we're just gonna say pull that model down. So that'll start. So this one's just a one gig model. So accuracy is not gonna be too great, but again, that's not what we're showing here. We're just showing how easy this is. And do, 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 do. I always love downloading things on video. Sometimes I just say stuff because I don't know if they're gonna keep it in or, or if we fast forward through it. And I just like to make the boys work, you know? They're holding the laugh back right now. <laughs> if, you think, if you listen really carefully, you might hear it. <laughs> One eternity later. We're back. I got the production team all wired up, wired up back there. Now they won't shut up. Um, no, but we're in. So we pulled our model down. We can close our container. And if we go back to our web UI here, probably didn't even need to refresh, but I'd like to. And there we go. It's aware of deep seek. Deep seek. So what's cool here is if we, I don't know, Go get another one, go get Gemma, go whatever. There's so many models out there now, it's crazy. This world moves so fast. Um, but they're all options that you can load into it and ask it questions. So here we go, I can ask it a question today and I'd be like, hey, how are you doing? Eh, I'm just here to help, what's up with you? Oh, that one's pretty fast, I like it. But there you go, right? Um, let's ask another question. Here, let me ask the crowd here. Got to give me a prompt. How to make a fried chicken. How to make fried chicken. That's thinking. Oh, it's, we got it working on this one. Okay, and here now it's thinking out. So this does show some of the limitations of what's going on here. Where the best performance on with LLMs come from GPUs. Um, they can be run with CPU, no big deal. But you have to wait for some... Um, wait for some time to get it back. And it is what it is. Um, there's always ways to improve it. You can get more efficient models and that's actually some things we're looking into as well. One idea we, or not idea, but one philosophy we like to think about here at 45 Drives is like don't always just overkill it. Like, I don't know, any anyone can put a million GPUs into the thing, but like, I don't know, can you fine tune things? And I like to find the lower limit, almost the higher limit, if you know what I mean. That's kind of where I'm going with it. Anyway, so, that's running, it's thinking. Um, this also gives me a great time to plug some of the other products we have, like the VM line, the VM16, the VM8, which has a dedicated uh, bay for putting large full-size GPUs in, which you can do something like this and really accelerate your prompts. And that's the point of 45 drives, right? We think of our products, our solutions, sorry, let me say that. Our solutions almost like Lego. And here's what I mean by this. You go to the store and you buy a Lego set, right? They give you the instructions, they tell you how to use it and everything like that. 
you can build it or whatever, but everyone always ends up with that tub of Lego at the end and you can build whatever you want. And that's our ethos here at 45 Drives. We have our pre-built models, our products, our solutions, but it's done in modular ways that we can take pieces from other pieces and plug them into other pieces and, and just dream. And so that's kind of what I wanted to do in this video is take you on the little meandering path we went in R&D where we took some high, the high compute um, CPUs that we have in our compute server and we took it and we put it in the F16 and went, huh, cool. I didn't know we, we were gonna be able to do this or something like that. So my point is with this video and, and with the other videos that we're gonna keep putting out around this is not only show you what these products do at their core of like their speed, their performance and their main point of existing storage and everything like that, but like all the things it can do and then still enable you users to dream and do crazy stuff. Anyway, I've uh, yammered long enough. It's still thinking over here. Um, so <laughs> fired chicken. So it's confused. My typo. Anyway, that's enough for that. The point of what I wanted to do here is done. That's how easy it is to set this up. Go check open, check out open web UI, Olama. They got some great documentation, great project people are doing there. And um, yeah, have some fun out there. Okay, nice. That's actually really nice. There you yeah. go, Joe.